Corey Feldman has no idea what it's like not to be famous. He was just three years old in this McDonald's commercial. McDonald's gift certificates. I literally was famous before I knew my own name. His roles defined the 80s. Goonies. This was my dream, my wish. Stand by me. You call my dad a loony again, and I'll kill you. License to drive. The only difference between you and that greaseball is that he has a license and you don't. <laughs> Films that propelled him into the spotlight for his entire youth. But being famous so young, he says, caused serious damage to him and his friends. Do you feel like you missed out on a normal childhood? <laughs> what childhood? <laughs> I don't know what that means. A lost childhood and a loss of innocence. He blames the adults, not just those looking to profit from charming children, but also some with far more sinister motives. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. That's the biggest problem for children in this industry. The casting couch even applies to children. Oh, yeah. Not in the same way. It's all done under the radar. Nobody talks about pedophilia. It's the big secret. And it's widespread? Oh, yeah. I was surrounded by them when I was 14 years old. Surrounded. Literally. Didn't even know it. It wasn't until I was old enough to realize what they were and what they wanted and what they were about and the types of people that were surrounding me till I went, oh my God, they were everywhere like vultures. Vultures who Feldman says abused him and his best friend, the late child actor Corey Haim, his co-star in The Lost Boys. Well, what happens if my mom is dating the head vampire? Feldman says the trauma of that pedophilia contributed to Haim's death. There's one person to blame in the death of Corey Haim, and that person happens to be a Hollywood mogul. And that person needs to be exposed, but unfortunately I can't be the one to do it. But the person that knows who did it and knows who he is, is watching right now, I guarantee you. Hmm. Yeah. Intriguing. Yeah. There was a circle of older men that surrounded themselves around this group of kids. Hmm. And they all had either their own power or connections to great power in the entertainment industry. Feldman won't name names. And he admits his friend had a struggle with addiction, which he says was a mechanism to cope with his demons. It was a symptom. It was a symptom, correct. Are we in it? In 2008, the two Corys confronted each other on their reality show about the dark past they shared. You let me get around in my life, man, raped, so to speak, when I was about 14 and a half, and I'm saying this right now. What'd you do, man, when you saw that going down when I was 14 to me? What'd you do? You knew about it. You want to talk about the truth? Okay, well, then let's talk about the truth. I was being molested at the same time by somebody else. What'd you do? You know, there's a lot of good people in this industry, but there's also a lot of really, really sick, corrupt people in this industry. And there are people in this industry who have gotten away with it for so long that they feel they're above the law. Hmm. And that's got to change. That's got to stop.